cool theek hai so when it comes to strategy management what do you guys understand by the word strategy it is a methodological approach wherein you prepare yourself or इधर योर सेल्फ की जगह ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होगा यू प्रिपेयर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर द अनफोर्सिबल फ्यूचर मतलब जो भी प्रेडिक्टेबल नहीं है इट इट बेसिकली हेल्प्स यू टू क्रिएट अ विजन फॉर द एंटायर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दैट हेल्प्स यू टू आइडेंटिफाई बोथ प्रेडिक्टेबल एज वेल एज अनप्रेडिक्टेबल कॉन्टिजेंसीज राइट नो इट डज नॉट मेक एनी मीनिंग टू लर्न डेफिनेशन डेफिनेशन बस मैंने यहाँ लिख दी है बिकॉज इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट टर्म बट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इट इज सो इन वेरी लेम एंड टर्म इट इज अ मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक विच विल हेल्प यू बिल्ड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज दैट इज दैट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ टू होल्ड इट सेल्फ इन एनी काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन ओके इट अ कंपनी कैन अचीव कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज इन एनी काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन अभी कोविड जैसे हिट हुआ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ठीक है सो कोविड हिट फार्मा का डिमांड बढ़ गया everybody needs drugs everybody needs medicines pharma ka demand bad gaya but if your supply chain is disrupted if you are not able to deliver or if you are not able to procure the raw materials on time and to deliver it to to the chemists ya fir doctors ya hospitals on time does it make any sense to sit and cry ki we couldn't do this no right because all the factors were in your favor pharma was in demand the demand was all time high just because you did not have any strategy to cope up with unforeseeable circumstances like a pandemic that does not mean you will lose that competitive advantage that will lead you to nothing but a failure in the market right strategy is a specialization or an elective subject strategy is an elective subject and this is a favorite of all because be it consultants consultants to lete hi lete consultants ho gaye tumhare uh, prod man people all of you need strategy as a subject okay so this is more towards consulting cool so this is what is what we mean by strategy basically now strategy के अंदर काफी सारे कंपोनेंट्स होते हैं यू माइट हैव हर्ड दीज फैंसी टर्म्स लाइक मिशन विजन ऑफ अ कंपनी राइट हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन आई हैव मेंशन मिशन एंड विजन ऑफ एप्पल सो मिशन इट इज लाइक टू ब्रिंग द बेस्ट यूजर एक्सपीरियंस टू कस्टमर्स थ्रू इट जो भी लिखा है एंड विजन इज वी बिलीव दैट वी आर ऑन द फेस ऑफ अर्थ टू मेक ग्रेट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड दैट्स नॉट चेंजिंग सो इसको पहले समझो कि व्हाट इज मिशन विजन एंड योर गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव सो मिशन इज बेसिकली uh what the company wants to achieve what what is the problem that the company is delivering matlab for example if it's apple so let's break it down uske mission mein if you see there are some terms like innovative hardware software and services right so if you break it down it wants to deliver best user experience innovative hardware innovative software and services okay now if you even observe so apple products are beautifully crafted everything about apple products has to be designed with maximum attention to details if you observe so this is what they are here for this is what they are what they want to be known uh, as a company right this is their basically mission or vision kya hota hai vision is what the dreams or aspirations of all the stakeholders in the company are so where you as a a senior management a person with authority maybe senior management where do you see the company 5 years or 10 years down the line that is your vision okay if you see here apple ka vision it is written, it is written that they are on the face of the earth to make great products and that's not changing matlab they they yeah vision is the ultimate aim where you want to reach what you aspire to reach jaise for example every one of you might have a vision right you want to see yourself as some particular uh, authority ya koi position ya koi ceo entrepreneur whatever it is right that is a vision okay so they want to make great products they are focused on innovation simplicity hoti hai usme uh, they they focus on key prod, uh, product aise nahi ki har hi cheez banate rehte they they have very limited choices but whatever it is excellence is the standard this is what apple is known for right so mission ha huh, i'll repeat once again mission is something which uh, displays what is the core purpose that the company is trying to solve jaise apple ka mission hai innovation so they want to come up with innovation products that is the primary thing to jab bhi apple ki company mein kabhi bhi baat hogi to Uh, come up with a new product or a new service or whatever it is they will first focus on whether this product aligns with the mission of the company or not because that is what they want to be known for 
ओके और विजन क्या होगा विजन इज द एस्पिरेशन ऑफ द स्टेक होल्डर्स द ड्रीम ऑफ द स्टेक होल्डर्स ओके क्लियर और गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव आर वेरी नॉट टैंजल बट सबसेट ऑफ दीज थिंग्स दैट गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव आर लिटिल शॉर्ट टर्म हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव दम टाइम लाइन काइंड ऑफ थिंग की फाइव ईयर गोल क्या है टेन ईयर गोल क्या है दैट इज दैट इज अ टाइम लाइन काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो दैट एवरीबडी इन द कंपनी नोज वॉट दे आर वर्किंग फॉर ओके ठीक है लेट्स मूव अड थोड़ा सा और सेकेंड इसके बाद वन मोर थिंग यू नीड टू नो एज फार एज जी डी पी आई इज कंसर्न इज बिजनेस मॉडल्स सो वॉट बिजनेस मॉडल्स डू बिजनेस मॉडल्स आर नथिंग बट इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ फ्रेमवर्क जैसे ये डेफिनेशन में यू कैन ऑब्वियसली रीड इट आउट इट इज अ फ्रेमवर्क फॉर फाइंडिंग अ सिस्टमेटिक वे टू अनलॉक लॉन्ग टर्म वैल्यू नाउ ये छोड़ दो ये डेफिनेशन छोड़ दो बट बिजनेस मॉडल हैज टू बी अ काइंड ऑफ फाउंडेशन फॉर योर एंटायर बिजनेस टू स्टैंड ऑन ठीक है इट हैज टू बी अ काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर और यू कैन से हाउ यू विल डू वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस सो यू नीड टू डिफाइन वॉट यूर डूइंग एंड देन हाउ यूल डू इट इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ ब्लू प्रिंट हाँ ब्लू प्रिंट भी बोल सकते हो तो देर आर वेरियस काइंड ऑफ बिजनेस मॉडल्स या सम ऑफ देम आर बी टू बी बी टू सी जो भी तुम एग्जाम्पल्स दे रहे हो या दैट इज इट बट देर आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस मॉडल्स एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड तुम कैसे बिजनेस मॉडल को करोगे नाउ लेट्स सी जेनरिकली बिजनेस मॉडल्स को कैसे करते हैं ओके आई एल जस्ट ट्राई टू राइट सम थिंग्स डाउन हियर ओके सो फर्स्ट वेन यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ अ बिजनेस मॉडल जैसे बहुत लोग तुम लोग जाके बोलोगे ना वी वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट आर ओन बिजनेस वी वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू दिस इंडस्ट्री सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अ फ्यू थिंग्स फर्स्ट थिंग वेन यूर वेन यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अ बिजनेस मॉडल इज वॉट वॉट विल बी अ टारगेट मार्केट ओके सो टारगेट मार्केट विल बी समथिंग विच यू विल सेल योर प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस टू जैसे एप्पल का टारगेट मार्केट इज डिफरेंट दैन सैमसंग का टारगेट मार्केट राइट सो बोथ द ऑडियंस इज डिफरेंट For both the products. So, if both phone are being made, still the target market is different. So, you need to decide that you will launch which segment of your business or product or service. Maruti and Audi type. Okay, 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 Maruti and ओके सो चैनल से मतलब है व्हाट विल बी द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल्स एप्पल हैज मोर ऑफ एन इशू मार्केट यस ओके सो दिस थिंग यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड उसके बाद मोनेटाइजेशन ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज दैट इज द एसेंस ऑफ द बिजनेस हाउ यू विल मोनेटाइज इट क्योंकि चैरिटी तो किसी को करनी नहीं होती ना इतनी अल्टीमेटली हाउ विल यू मोनेटाइज थिंग्स एंड देन वॉट विल बी द ऑपरेशन लुक लाइक ओके सो दीज आर द फोर फाइव थिंग्स चैनल्स लाइक हाँ होल सेलर डायरेक्ट सेलिंग येस एक्जैक्टली यू वॉन्ट टू सेल इट डायरेक्टली टू कस्टमर्स यू वॉन्ट टू हैव योर ऑनलाइन प्रेजेंस और ऑफलाइन प्रेजेंस हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू गो अबाउट इट दैट इज आउ ठीक है एंड देन हाउ यू विल मैनेज योर ऑपरेशन सो ये तीन चार चीजें है विच विल डी कोड एनी बिजनेस मॉडल और एनी एनी कंपनी दैट यू वॉन्ट टू लुक इन टू ठीक है ना अगेन वेन इट कम्स टू योर मोनेटाइजेशन इसमें थोड़ी चीजें और ध्यान रख लेना कि मोनेटाइजेशन वेन यू थिंक ऑफ मोनेटाइजेशन इट हैज टू मेन थिंग्स राइट मोनेटाइजेशन इज नथिंग बट योर प्रॉफिट्स ओके सो प्रॉफिट्स कैसे आएगा प्रॉफिट्स इज ऑलवेज वॉट योर रेवेन्यू माइनस योर कॉस्ट राइट दैट इज दैट इज नथिंग बट योर प्रॉफिट्स ओके सो अगर रेवेन्यू माइनस कॉस्ट जा रहा है यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर योर डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू ठीक है स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू में क्या क्या होगा तुम्हारा जैसे इफ यू कंसिडर एमेजॉन एमेजॉन हेज डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू राइट इट हैज प्राइम इट हैज म्यूजिक इट हैज जो उसका ई कॉमर्स है वो वाला इट हैज ए डब्ल्यू एस सो वॉट आर द डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू एंड देन वॉट विल बी द कॉस्ट इन कर्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कॉस्ट हो गया लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट हो गया द लेबर कॉस्ट हो गया वॉट एवर कॉस्ट दैट यू नीड टू इन्वेस्ट इन so if you look at these aspects you will be able to decode any business and that is how you will you will be able to understand any business model uh is a, um, are you guys able to follow so far or is it becoming a little technical yeah kaise ho raha are you able to follow okay is it adding any help to you
Okay, so you can uh, use these terms while you speak in your PIs so that it creates some kind of impact. Okay, many of you will go and speak. Uh, we want to get into investment banking, merger, acquisition. But kya karoge wahan dhanda? Malab, you need to understand a business to acquire or merge with it, right? So if you give them a little idea that you know these things, it will be a little better. So I thought of discussing these things. Okay, use maps. Okay. MACD, 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 okay, MACD ka baad mein discuss karenge, MACD has a different thing. Okay, so you understood what is B2B, B2C, right? Cool, theek hai. Again, yes, Amazon, Amazon has both of it. Amazon, if you see, it has its e-commerce thing, which it caters to the consumers. And Amazon also caters to uh, some businesses. So it's both. It's both actually. ठीक है? It's not B two B two C. It's both. Okay. It is B two B also and B two C also. B two B two C is only when you have that line, complete line. C is business to government. So businesses will sell their products to government agencies. Like, just a tender basis पे होता है. If if you if you have a contract from railways, so Indian Railways will release a tender. For maybe their generators' key requirement, ki engine may generator key requirement hai. So whatever businesses will fill in their tender and apply to them, usme se jo lowest bidder hota hai, usko wo award hota hai. Ha, army ke naya dress ka tender. So whatever on tender basis for any government facilities, right? That is B to G. Not always lowest. मतलब they consider very बहुत criteria hota hai. You should have some man, some kind of manpower, infrastructure. You should have experience of those projects. बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं, okay? So yeah, that is how it is. Hmm, ठीक है. Okay, now somebody talked about MACD. Okay, so what kind of business model does McDonald's follow? Okay, so let's get back to the structure here, which we made. Okay, so when you think about McDonald's, you have your target market. ठीक है, you know about your target market. Where, how you are selling the product, you know how you are selling. You are selling through the online platforms, offline जो भी outlets हैं उनके, you are selling through them. You know about monetization also. Now, when you come to operations here, when you think about operations, you are not able to set up your own outlets in every corner of the country, right? If you see, McDonald is present in almost all cities, almost all places. Even even like in big cities, you'll have multiple outlets. So, are all the outlets owned by McDonald's? Ha, huh, exactly. It's a franchise. Okay, so all the all the outlets aren't owned by McDonald's. So, जहाँ पे उनके operations आ गए, they are not so operationally sound. So now what they do is they just give out uh, their What what can you say? They they give out their they allow other people or they set up franchises to take over and conduct the operations in their capacity. Okay, so that is another kind of model, franchise model, or you can say license. Okay. Any other any other model you can think of about like this? When businesses are paying income tax to government, it's an example. No, 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 that is not business. Na, they are liable to pay taxes. Taxes taxes to sab ko dena hi padta hai. That is not a business. Usme wo kya paisa kamar rahe bichare? Kuch nahi kamar rahe. Okay. हाँ, that is any other franchise or license model you can you guys can think of. Burger King, okay. So let's write here. Okay, school chains, school chains. CCD. Ice cream outlets, Puma. Okay.
every franchise giving business has the same model or they differ from product to product see the the core model remains the same if you are giving your business i mean if you are giving somebody else the permission the license to use your product then that then it falls under the franchise or license model but then how they are using it 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 may it may differ from product to product okay cloud kitchens cloud kitchens will again depend starbucks is run by tata or uh, franchise model in which tata and starbucks has 50 50 share kfc dmart okay okay so you understood about how franchisee or this model works right cool theek hai okay now this is all about how you are, uh, what happens when you are when you are setting up a business how you divide i mean how you decide on what your what the foundation of your business is theek hai these are the factors which we consider or bahut sare business models hote hai ye do teen ko chhod ke bahut hote hai it's like many many kind of models 70 80 plus business models hote hai so you need to decide which one is the best for your business depending on what how will you decide which which business model works for your business depending on how much is your financial capacity your or your operational capacity what is your expertise in that in that segment okay uh, what is your market presence what is the target market jo bhi hai whatever factors we have discussed wo sare consider karke they will decide ki kaun sa business model is apt for this product and this target segment okay now if you want to in case you want to move into a new market theek hai ye to tumne kar liya you are you are setting up your business for the first time now you want to expand your business theek hai now you want to expand your business and you want to venture into a new market fir kaise karoge decide then how you will structure your thought you are expanding your business to a new market acquire companies in that business aur paise nahi hai to so the question is now you have set up your business in let's say market a now you want to also expand your business to market b okay indian market mein kar liya now you want to expand it to us market to kaise karoge how will you go about it? study the consumer behavior launch a competitive product stp survey so the thing is when you say new market here you will need to consider the external factors right okay now external factors ke liye we have this framework pestel what does it stand for you will need to understand the political aspects you will need to understand the environmental aspects okay tech aspects legal aspects and economic okay uh being a franchisee doesn't mean they have complete independence right they still have to follow the same brand strategy they have to be the replica of that brand strategy abhi mcdonalds ke sare outlet mein if you see the way they talk to you the way the customers the sales people are the way they are dressed the way they serve it is all the same so you cannot change it to your own thing right jaise bana hota hai har mcd ka outlet that is also similar the kind of seating arrangement the kind of um, ambience everything is round about same so they have to follow that thing they have to follow the raw material also yeah तुम कोई भी मैगडी में चले जाओ एवरी बर्गर स्टिल टेस्ट द सेम राइट एवरी बर्गर स्टिल टेस्ट द सेम व्हाट इफ वी लीव फ्रेंचाइजी एंड स्टार्ट आवर ओन बिजनेस विद द सेम रेसिपी द रेसिपी अरे रेसिपी इट इट इज ओन्ड बाय देम यू कैन नॉट स्टार्ट अपने खुद का वैसे ही सेम टू सेम राइट यू विल अगेन हैव लीगल इश्यूज हाँ विल बी सूड एग्जैक्टली अभी यहाँ पे किया ना हमने लीगल इश्यूज होते कॉपी दैट भारी नुकसान मतलब हाँ राइट नुकसान तो हो जाएगा 
okay so all these things you need to consider when you are going into a new business uh, sorry new market okay again yahan pe do do tarike se cheeze hoti hai one is your blue ocean strategy and second is red ocean okay now pehle red ocean samajh lo थोड़ा बहुत इधर उधर करके तो रेसिपी चेंज करा जा सकता है ना हाँ करते हैं लोग फिर बोलते हैं कि हाँ दिस इज द डुप्लीकेट ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्ट करके बट हाँ ओके सो देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ बिजनेस स्ट्रैटेजी मेजर जो कैटेगराइजेशन कर सकते हैं फिर से रेड ओशन स्ट्रैटेजी एंड ब्लू ओशन स्ट्रैटेजी पहले रेड ओशन समझो नाउ द नेम हियर सजेस्ट रेड ओके जस्ट फोकस ऑन दिस थिंग रेड so when it comes to red it's it's literally a blood bath why i say it's a blood bath uh, is because you have a lot of players here a lot of competitors here okay a lot of competitors means it is easy to enter everybody will want to enter right because why there's a reason why a lot of people are entering this market okay now if you if you see some industrial sector for example let's say uh let's focus on gujarat as a place theek hai in gujarat if you see everybody is a businessman but what businesses they are into they are dealers okay ha theek hai abhi wo copy copy chhod do please for come back to this red ocean blue ocean sun lo pehle ye fir kar lena kaun kiska copy hai burger king is copy of mcd i don't know kaun kiska copy hai but come back they will have legal issues come back ha theek hai so now there are a lot of competitors here there are a lot of players here and just because there are a lot of players and they are profitable also they are good they are doing good aur bahut logo ne is industry mein venture kar i mean is market mein play kiya hai so you know how it is going iske do's kya hai don'ts kya hai kisne acha kiya hai to kaise acha kiya hai how they have been succeeding kisne bura kiya hai to how they failed what should we not do to avoid that failure so everybody has a kind of idea how it goes about so everybody wants to enter this market and that is why it is a uh, low profit or you can say low margin but the advantage is that you know about okay jaise kisi ne bola smartphone industry it is like that you have a lot of players you know what works in the smartphone industry you know how the audience will react to whatever phone or whatever product you come up with right so that is a kind of known behavior to you you already have all the research done by other players to tumhara wahan pe easy ho raha hai kaam but just because you have a lot of players it is also giving you low margins and that is why it is literally a blood bath or it is called a red ocean strategy okay then comes blue ocean strategy now blue ocean strategy is clean and clear so you don't know anything about it there is no research done there are very few players or or few players be nahi you can say just negligible okay and you need to think you need to like go out of your way to enter into this thing okay monopoly monopoly bol sakte si monopoly is not under blue ocean red ocean monopoly is how you capture the market agar red ocean strategy mein you have a lot of players understood but you have a lot of market share aur baki sab players ka ekdam negligible market share hai still it means you're monopolizing the market because you are control you are in a way controlling the market right so that is not red ocean blue ocean monopoly aur ye jo bhi hai wo thoda alag concept aa jayega tumhara it is it will be depending upon how much market share you are owning theek hai can blue ocean industry become red ocean this is a nice question now abhi socho blue ocean strategy hamesha every blue every strategy will first be a blue ocean thing right pehli baar jab kisi ne kiya hoga disruptor jo hoga that will be a blue ocean strategy for fir wo jab grow kiya everybody understood that okay this is a new thing in the market people are moving towards it so 
then more and more players start getting into it and then it becomes a red ocean this is how it happens ott platforms aise hua tha right okay so that is how it is okay wo ki kya discussion chal raha hai tumhara railways aur maruti suzuki monopolies indian railways agreed theek hai okay cool theek hai so you understood what how to venture into new market how how these strategies work right blue ocean kya ho gaya red ocean kya ho gaya you can think about some more examples thode aur companies ka research karo you might be coming from different industries okay you might be coming from different industries so tumhari industry mein what players are using what kind of strategies what is the new thing coming up you need to be aware about it when you go to your personal interviews but what is the strategy one uses that depends upon what your uh, risk taking appetite is i would say na blue ocean mein jaane ke liye you need to have a lot of risk taking appetite kyunki you know nothing about it but you are still willing to take that risk and go ahead go one step ahead i read is blood blood red mein bahut sare competitors hai so everybody is competing for that chota sa margin profit ka share okay so it's it's like you have a big cake or you have a big pizza and uh, you have let's say 100 people eating the same pizza so sabko bahut chota chota milega everybody has to like give a cutthroat competition that is a red red ocean and blue ocean mein you have a pizza you have you have one or two people looking at it usme se ek aadmi khayega to khayega ha milega to sahi but you have to be matlab you have to be like on your toes always okay example of blue ocean okay chalo blue ocean ka let's let's take netflix let's take netflix theek hai now when netflix came netflix was was you can say one of the first companies that used the blue ocean strategy it it became a subscription based streaming service but jab wo shuru hua it was a dvd rental right it was a dvd rental so it was a disruptor disruptor kisko bolte hai if you are doing something for the first time in the industry jab internet ka popularity bada to netflix also become a streaming service theek hai aur usne aur zyada films aur jo bhi series hai tumhari it started incorporating over that hosting karna usne start kiya and then they also launched their own shows and movies which was available only on their platforms okay so then they managed to move into blue ocean that is an example of a blue ocean strategy okay <clears throat> yes uber also uber is also uber kya hai it is a aggregator thing right it is a aggregator it is available in like bahut sari countries also so it didn't invent anything new when it comes to like a product kuch naya invent nahi kiya usne but it has changed the normal way how you go to one place to another right abhi koi bhi nobody talks about ki chalo car se jayenge ya aise jayenge everybody is like chalo uber karenge ya ola karenge so it's it has become your normal lingo Okay, so that is a blue ocean again. Yes, understood, everybody. ये जो Uber हो गया, Ola हो गया, your Zomato, your Swiggy, they follow they follow a platform based model. So what they do is they have a platform. They they are just platform. They don't just a Zomato ले लो. They don't own any restaurants. They neither have any control over your audience, right? But they are just giving a platform for the restaurants to sell or the the food वाला चीज and the customers to buy food from there. So that is a platform based service, platform based model, right? okay this is enough so have you analyzed strategy ye jo ye jo thing hai this is very important ye sikhate hai mba mein but they also expect that you know to wo pehle puchte hai tumko aata hai kya fir sikhate hai khud theek hai so if you know these four five things it means that you know that you can decode any business 
any business model or any strategy of any company koi bhi company socho whatever companies you guys worked for ya fir whatever your dream companies are whatever industries you want to get into please think about some good companies nestle apple um jo bhi lena jo bhi lena amazon le lo microsoft le lo jo bhi tumhari companies hai and just think and sit and think ki what is a uh, strategy and what is the mission vision how are they aligning towards it what is the latest annual report stating ye sab thoda sa dekh lo ki nike or adidas you can say because what they what these guys do is they work with a lot of property owners so what they do is they go to these property owners who have the shops or retailers kabhi kabhi aise bhi shops hote hain na jisme aapko sari hi brands milti hai general shoe shop तो जहाँ पे आपको सारे ब्रांड्स मिल रहे इट्स नॉट नाइकी स्टोर और इट्स नॉट एडिडास स्टोर का मतलब एक ही नहीं यू कैन गेट इट सो दे गो टू दिस प्रॉपर्टी ओनर्स और रिटेलर्स एंड देन दे टेल देम कि यू कैन सेल आर प्रोडक्ट्स सो दैट इज अ दैट इज आल्सो अ फ्रेंचाइज मॉडल और उसमें उसके बदले में उनको क्या मिलता है ऑपरेशन राइट ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट उनका बच जाता है बिकॉज नाउ इट इज दैड एक प्रॉपर्टी ओनर और ऑफ द रिटेल आउटलेट टू सेल द स्टॉक ओके और मार्केटिंग का भी बच जाता है उनका राइट मार्केटिंग उसको जैसे करनी है वैसे करेगा ना वो इट्स नॉट आर हेड एक नाउ यू ऑलरेडी सोल्ड इट टू द रिटेल पीपल दे जस्ट गिव द ब्रांड येस दे जस्ट गिव द ब्रांड एंड जस्ट बिकॉज रिटेलर्स और प्रॉपर्टी ओनर्स वुड बाय देर प्रोडक्ट उसके लिए वो अपनी ब्रांडिंग स्ट्रॉन्ग करते हैं सो वाई डू वाई डज नाइकी होस्ट इट्स ओन एडवर्टिजमेंट सो दैट इट कैन सेल टू दीज रिटेलर्स राइट 